If a criminal defendant enters a guilty plea, negating the need to prove the defendant's guilt, then constitutional procedural safeguards, such as the right to a jury trial and to confront accusers, are ineffective. In Boykin v. Alabama, we explore whether there's still some constitutional protection in the form of a due process requirement that guilty pleas be made with awareness of their implications. 27-year-old Alabama resident Edward Boykin was indicted for five counts of common law robbery, an offense punishable by death under Alabama law. At his arraignment, Boykin, represented by court-appointed counsel, pleaded guilty to all five indictments. The judge accepted the guilty plea without confirming on the record that Boykin understood his rights and the consequences of his plea. In a trial solely to determine Boykin's punishment, a jury sentenced Boykin to death. This triggered an automatic appeal to the Alabama Supreme Court, which, on its own motion, considered whether the trial judge's acceptance of Boykin's guilty plea satisfied due process. Although the Alabama Supreme Court affirmed Boykin's sentence, three justices dissented, on the ground that the trial record failed to show that Boykin's guilty plea was voluntary and knowing. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.